Hello and welcome to the latest Hi-Fi turntable update video. Today I'm going to try out a new record mat for my Clear Audio Concept turntable. This is the Ring Mat Record Support Gold Dot Anniversary Edition and the set that I have actually comes in three separate parts. First of all there's a very small disc that sits on top of the record when it is in place. There's the actual mat itself and then there's a rubber underlay which goes under the mat. Now the mat itself is the important part and it's very very thin material as you can probably see from bending in the picture. I believe it's supposed to be one millimeter thick and it is made apparently from beer grains. Now what that entirely means I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure. I know the original one was white and it was made from cotton grains which makes sense but what beer grains are I'm not entirely sure, but uh, you could possibly call this a beer mat, certainly a new uh, use for the things. Now the mat's very thin, but it's got very, very thin strips of cork on it as well, on both sides. Um, the whole ethos behind this mat is to be very lightweight and to actually lift the record from the platter of the turntable so that there's actually space between the record and the platter and there's minimal contact between it and the rest of the turntable. Here is my clear audio concept turntable. Now the design philosophy behind this turntable is that the platter uh, shouldn't be used with a mat. The record is meant to sit directly down onto this. Now the material this is made from has the same density as vinyl records. The idea being the vinyl touches it and the two will resonate as one and you won't add any additional sort of problems um, to the vinyl replay. And it is the whole design philosophy behind it. So how well it is going to work with a mat in place remains to be seen. Now the Ring Mat Gold Spot Anniversary Edition sits on top of the platter, um, just like you'd expect a record mat um, to be used. Sits uh, fairly snugly in place. Now the first thing you're going to notice is it's too small. It doesn't actually cover the whole platter. Um, it isn't meant to. The record is supposed to just touch these two pieces here and here and that's it. As I say, it's all about minimal contact. It does look rather weird when it's in use and I found that on this particular turntable it works best without the rubber underlay in place. And then of course you put the record on top. As so and then you put the little mat on top of that to help again try and suppress um, the resonances. Now it's fairly easy to use but it is rather lightweight, it is rather flimsy, it doesn't exactly uh, appear to be uh, the sort of thing that's going to take any abuse. It's likely to have rather limited longevity and it's a little bit fiddly to use especially with putting the little mat on top of the record as well. It cannot be used with clamps clamps go, well one they go completely against the ethos of the product and two it's just not practical. You'd be pushing down weight directly on here when there's actually nothing underneath supporting the record which would be a very bad idea indeed. Now with the record mat in place the clear audio concept sound is altered. It is more spacious, more ethereal sounding, it seems to fill the room more with sound but it is not as focused, it is not as tight, the bass isn't as good and in my opinion the music does not sound as real. It is a hi-fi product but it's definitely a sideways move rather than an improvement. It is my opinion that the sound quality of the turntable is degraded when this mat is in place. Uh, which is a crying shame and throw into the fact that it's also rather awkward to use and stops the use of a, a record clamp as well means that it just isn't going to be used uh, on my clear audio turntable. It was worth a try, but unfortunately it is a failure. So this is the first hi-fi update video that I've done where the product that I've bought clearly does not work with my equipment. But I do own a second turntable. And here it is, my venerable Marantz TT-130 from the early 80s. Now this is currently using a cork mat that you can see here. Originally it had a plastic sort of rubber mat on here. I changed it for the cork mat, which features in a previous video. 
and that clearly improved the sound. The sound difference wasn't vast, but it was there and it was definitely worthwhile. So it seems only right that I should try this with the ring mat record mat and see if there's any improvement there. Now, the first thing you notice taken off the cork mat is that underneath is a rather cheap aluminium platter. Um, with this turntable, you need to put the rubber mat on first. Um, which at least covers up most of the aluminium. And then put the ring mat on top of that. And then of course you put the record in place. And put the tiny little mat on top again. And then off you go. And listening to it, all I can really say is, wow, the transformation in sound is absolutely dramatic on this turntable, massively more so than on the concept. And here, the improvements that are brought are, well, they're just that, they are improvements. The sound's different, and the sound is much better. Again, the sound is much more spacious, much more airy, the sound is thrown out more into three-dimensional space. But it doesn't really seem to take anything away from the Marantz's sound. It just adds to it, it just makes it uh, a better listening experience and it makes the sound more realistic, whereas on the concept, if anything, it made it less realistic. And pretty breathtaking difference, it's astonishing. I didn't think you could get such a big difference from a record mat, certainly not on a cheap turntable like this. If I'd gone out and bought a new cartridge for this turntable costing three, four hundred pounds, and this was the difference that it brought, I would have thought it was money well spent. Now, I'm not saying that anybody should go out and buy a three or four hundred pound cartridge for a cheap plastic turntable like this, but you get the idea. Having said that, this record mat is not cheap. The record mat itself is seventy eight pounds, and the other two pieces come in at forty four so together together you're talking a hundred and twenty two pound record mat system. Yes, you heard that right a hundred and twenty two pounds for a record mat. And here we have the Ring Mat Record Support Gold Spot Anniversary Edition. The rubber underlay, the actual mat itself, and the little top mat that sits in the centre of the record. Now if any conclusions can be drawn, it's simply that it's a product that is hit and miss. That sort of horses for courses type affair. Now to be fair, the clear audio concept is not meant to be used with the record mat. I thought it was worth trying. It was an epic fail. However, on the Marantz uh, turntable, it was a spectacular success. The difference it made to the sound was nothing short of astonishing. Not only did it alter the sound quite dramatically, it also improved it dramatically. And it's made the sound of that very cheap old turntable rather special. And as such, this set will certainly be uh, a keeper. And uh, hopefully in the future can be used on other turntables to good effect as well. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.